friends, welcome back to another episode of Dr. Arya's Vlogs. In this lecture, I would like to share part 2 of Retention in Complete Dentures. In the previous lecture, we have discussed part 1. You can watch that video. As we already said, what is retention? According to GPT-9, it is the quality inherent in the dental processes acting to resist the forces of dislodgement along the path of placement. So coming to the factors affecting complete dental retention. The anatomical and physiological factors have already discussed. Today, in this video, we will discuss the physical factors of complete dental retention. In the next lecture, we will move on to mechanical and muscular factors. So coming to the physical factors, Hall and Tyson described the importance of physical factors of retention. According to Hall, the important factors for complete dental retention are adhesion, cohesion, gravity and atmospheric pressure. According to Hall, atmospheric pressure is essential for complete dental retention. So Hall proposed the atmospheric pressure essential for complete dental retention. Tyson stated the importance of peripheral seal for complete dental retention. He stated that a fully extended complete denture with good retention may lose its retentiveness if a hole is drilled in the peripheral seal area. So Tyson described the importance of peripheral seal for the complete denture retention and Hall described Atmospheric pressure essential for complete denture retention. In the following section, we will discuss in detail about the physical factors of retention. So, first one is adhesion. Adhesion is the attraction of dissimilar molecules or unlike molecules. So, here it is the attraction of dissimilar molecules between takes place between the saliva and the denture base as well as saliva and the mucosa. So, here it is the attraction of dissimilar or unlike molecules. Next one is the cohesion. It is the attraction between similar molecules which takes place within the molecules of saliva present between the mucosa and denture base. So, here it is the cohesion that is attraction between similar molecules in the saliva itself. So, salivary molecules attraction occurs. Then third one is the interfacial surface tension. It is defined as the tension or resistance of separation possessed by the film of liquid between two well adapted surfaces. So here it there is a tension of resistance to separation. This is the interfacial surface tension. So the next factor is capillarity or capillary attraction. It is the quality or state because of the surface tension it causes elevation or depression of the surface of a liquid that is in contact with the solid. Okay. Next factor is atmospheric pressure and peripheral seal. When dislodging forces acting on a properly extended denture the pressure between the processes and the mucosa drops which contribute to retention. And the atmospheric pressure is referred to as Emergency retentive force or temporary restraining force. And the last factor that is gravity. Gravity is the natural force which aids in the retention of mandibular denture, especially when there is more weight and other retentive forces and the factors are marginal. So these are the various physical factors of complete denture retention. And we will discuss each one in detail. So, first one is the adhesion. It is defined as the property of remaining in close proximity as that resulting from the physical attraction of molecules to a substance or molecular attraction existing between the surfaces of the bodies in contact. And it is defined in a sim uh, simple way that is it is defined as the physical attraction of unlike molecules to one another. 
So, adhesion is defined as the physical attraction of unlike molecules to one another. Okay. The role of saliva is very important for adhesion. Saliva wets the tissue surface of the denture and the mucosa. Thin film of saliva formed between denture and the tissue surface. This thin film helps to hold the denture to the mucosa. And the amount of adhesion present is proportional to the denture base area. In the patients with serostomia, adhesion does not play a major role. Next one is cohesion. The force whereby molecules of matter adhere to one another, the attraction of aggregation. And it is defined as in a simpler way that is uh, physical attraction of like molecules to each other. The cohesive forces act within the thin film of saliva. And the effectiveness of these forces increases with increase in denture bearing area. Watery serous saliva can form a thinner film and is more cohesive than thick mucous saliva. So more cohesiveness is for watery serous saliva. This picture shows the difference between the adhesion and cohesion. So the adhesion is the attraction of sim dissimilar molecules takes place between the saliva and the denture base as well as saliva and the mucosa. So here it is the uh, attraction of uh, unlike molecules which takes place between the saliva and the mucosa as well as saliva and the denture base. Here it is cohesion that is the attraction between similar molecules or like molecules takes place between the molecules of saliva present between mucosa and the denture base. So here it is the cohesion that is attraction of like molecules of saliva itself. Here it is the schematic representation showing adhesion between the saliva and tissues and the adhesion between the saliva and the denture base. This is showing schematic representation showing the cohesive forces within the saliva. Okay. Coming to the interfacial surface tension, according to GPT-9, it is defined as the property of liquids in which exposed surface tends to contract to the smallest possible area as in the spherical formation of drops, a phenomenon attributed to the attractive forces or cohesion between the molecules of the liquid. And it is defined in a simpler way as tension or resistance to separation possessed by a film of liquid between two well adapted parallel surfaces. It is dependent on the ability of the liquid to wet the surfaces. And the wettability of the fluid is inversely proportional to the surface tension of the surfaces. So, in this picture, it clearly shows the interfacial surface tension. It acts only when the two glass plates are pulled apart. When the two glass plates are pulled apart, interfacial surface tension acts. Okay. And the cohesive forces between the molecules of the liquid, that is intermolecular attraction and the adhesive forces between the plate and the liquid will result in preventing the plates to move away from each other, forming a concave meniscus. So, here it is the cohesive forces and here uh, cohesive forces between the molecules of liquid as well as the adhesive forces between the plate and the liquid result in preventing the plates to move away from each other and forming a concave meniscus. Here it is forming concave meniscus. And here it is the picture shows surface tension lost in mandibular denture. So, interfacial surface tension also dependent on the existence of a liquid or air interface at the boundary of liquid-solid contact. If two plates with a fluid between them are immersed in the same fluid, then there is no interfacial surface tension and they can be separated easily. The external boundary of the mandibular danger is always filled in saliva, thereby reducing the surface tension effect. Hence, interfacial surface tension plays significant role in the retention of only the maxillary denture. Okay. So here the, in the picture A, a liquid drop is placed between the two glass slabs, prevents the separation of slabs due to the action of forces of surface tension. So here the 
forces of surface tension uh, due to this it prevents the separation of the slabs okay and uh, in this picture uh, that is the black arrows at the air water interface okay and uh, this picture the same assembly which placed in water under water with loss its surface tension so when it places under water then it loses the surface tension due to the loss of air water interface okay there is no air water interface so uh, surface tension will loss and here in this picture it shows surface tension present in the maxillary denture and in this picture it shows surface tension lost in the mandibular denture due to the loss of air saliva interface at the denture bottom okay that is about the interfacial surface tension coming to the capillarity it is defined as the quality or state because of surface tension it causes elevation or depression of the surface of a liquid that is in contact with the solid okay that is according to gpt 9 here a liquid tends to rise in the capillary tube by maximizing its contact along the walls of tube at the interface between the liquid and the glass when there is close adaptation between the denture and the mucosa thin film of saliva tends to flow and increase its surface contact thereby increasing the retention so that is about the capillarity and the factors that aid to improve capillary attraction are closeness of adaptation of denture base to soft tissue greater surface of the denture bearing area thin film of saliva should be present so these are the various factors that aid to improve the capillary attraction so next one is the atmospheric pressure and peripheral seal peripheral seal is the area of contact between peripheral borders of the denture and the resilient limit limiting structures this peripheral seal prevents air entry between the denture surface and the soft tissue hence a low pressure is maintained within the space between the denture and the soft tissues and to achieve good peripheral seal the denture borders should rest on soft and resilient tissues such tissues allow the movement of mucosa along with the denture base during function thus constantly maintaining peripheral seal when displacing forces acting on the denture a partial vacuum is produced between the denture and the soft tissues which aids in retention and this property is called natural suction of a denture hence atmospheric pressure is referred to as emergency retentive force or re temporary restraining force retention produced by atmospheric pressure is directly proportional to the denture base area so the retention produced by the atmospheric pressure is increases with increasing denture base area it is the diagram showing the action of forces of atmospheric pressure against the downward displacement of a maxillary denture and this is the picture showing when the dislodging forces acting on a properly extended denture the pressure between the prosthesis and the mucosa drops contributing to retention and the last factor is gravity this is a natural force which can aid in the retention of a mandibular denture especially when there is more weight and other retentive forces and the factors are marginal and this is the picture showing gravity factor that is the gravitational force which helps seating the mandibular denture here it is the mandibular denture but it act against the maxillary denture that is uh, about the gravity so it it helps seat the mandibular denture only it act against the maxillary denture that is all about the physical factors for complete denture retention in the next video we will continue with mechanical and muscular factors thanks for watching please do share and subscribe for more videos